In the winter of 1971, Pakistan launched Operation Chungus Khan, a series of aerial strikes on 11 Indian air stations. Pakistan launched a full-scale war against us. The Pakistan Air Force suddenly struck at our airfield. As a result, India declared war on Pakistan. Both forces engaged fiercely on the eastern and western fronts. But 13 days into the war, the Eastern Command of the Pakistani Army signed the Instrument of Surrender. Lieutenant General A.A.K. Niazi signed the Instrument of Surrender. On 16 December 1971, East Pakistan was liberated, forming what we know today as Bangladesh. That India had recognized the government of Bangladesh. Following the war, nearly 10 million people took refuge in India. But as the monsoon arrived with heavy rains and floods, also came cholera. With a lack of access to food, clean water and sanitation, the cholera epidemic killed over 5,000 people in the refugee camps alone. In one such refugee camp at Bangao in West Bengal, the situation was turning critical. The camp was running out of saline fluid, a standard treatment for cholera in those days. The clock was ticking fast as hundreds more awaited treatment. Dr. Dilip Mahalnabis, a Kolkata-based pediatrician, stepped in. From his research, he knew that a solution of sugar and salt, which would increase water absorption by the body, could save lives. He turned to oral rehydration therapy, an unpopular treatment for diarrhea in those days. Against the odds, and with the help of Johns Hopkins University, he began giving out a mixture of table salt, baking soda and glucose with clean drinking water. He and his team then prepared and stored the solution in large drums, from where patients or their relatives could help themselves. In the next 14 days, the number of deaths declined from 30% to 3.6% in the refugee camps. Over the years, Dr. Mahalnabis saved thousands of lives with his oral rehydration therapy. Born on November 12, 1934 in West Bengal, Dr. Mahalabis studied in Kolkata and London and joined the Johns Hopkins University International Center for Medical Research and Training in Kolkata in the 1960s, where he carried out research in oral rehydration therapy. The Lancet Journal called his oral rehydration therapy as the most important medical discovery of the 20th century. From 1975 to 1979, Dr. Mahalnabis worked in cholera control for the World Health Organization in Afghanistan, Egypt and Yemen. During the 1980s, he worked as a WHO consultant on research on the management of bacterial diseases. In 2002, Dr. Mahalnabis, along with Dr. Nathaniel F. Pierce, was awarded the Pollen Prize by Columbia University. The award is considered the equivalent of the Nobel in Pediatrics. He died at the age of 87 on October 16 last year. Dr. Mahalnabis will be posthumously awarded the Padma Vibhushan, the country's second highest civilian award this year. Today, the WHO recommends ORS, a combination of sodium chloride and hydrous glucose, potassium chloride and trisodium citrate dehydrate as the ORS formula as a standard method for treating cholera and other diarrheal diseases. In India, July 29 is observed as ORS Day.